hello guys welcome back in this video tutorial we will learn how we can show a confirmation message before we changing the state of switch like we do not change the state of the switch when user does not confirm it and we can only change the state of the switch when user confirms it and also we will see how we can show the confirmation message conditionally like we can say uh, user can switch off the switch anytime but has to confirm it before switching it on to see how we can implement it let's get started I have an empty react.js project that is using end design and right now it's showing nothing. Let's go ahead and import the switch component from end design and start using it. So it will be switch and if you save it, here you go. It has added the switch and you can on and off. I have a separate video which covers different props and the states of the switch. I will add its link in the i button as well as in the description below so that you can take a look. In this particular video, we will just focus on how we can show the confirmation pop-up before we change the state of this switch. So for that, we can use the pop confirm from again from the end design and wrap our switch uh, inside that. So it will be pop confirm and in, in the pop confirm, we can add a title what we want to show. Suppose we want to show that are you sure to change the switch state if i save it and now if i click on that here you go it has added the confirmation message are you sure to change the switch state so we can press the ok or the cancel or just uh, we can cancel it by clicking anywhere else and right now you can see that i can change the switch state without uh, pressing the ok button or, or confirming the pop-up so for that what we can do is we can keep the switch state into our state variable so we can say use state and here we can say switch checked and by default it's false and import it from react and on the switch we can say the checked value will be equal to the switch checked what we have in the app and here uh, in the pop confirm uh, we can use a prop on confirm and once user confirm or press the ok button then here we can say set switch state to whatever is the previous value uh, do the opposite of that we can say not of pre and if i save it and now if i click on that it won't uh, change to the on state if i cancel it it won't do anything or if i click anywhere else it won't do anything and if i click on the ok button it will then uh, switch to the on state and same goes for disabling it cancel do nothing and if i press the ok button then it will change the state right so this is how we can add a confirmation pop-up uh, before changing the state of the switch and suppose in some cases uh, you want that only when user is switching on then we should show the pop-up and when you uh, is switching it back to off state we do not need to confirm it right we can do that as well so here we can say uh, we can disable this pop confirm once uh, the switch state of the switch is checked if it is checked then pop confirm will be disabled and i can show you and uh, here you see if i clicking on that it is disabled right but in that case uh, we want to uh, off this switch so for that what we can do is we can use the on click function on the switch and here we can say if the switch is checked then set the switch state to false right so this will only only work uh, once uh, the switch is in the on state already right if i save it here you go so i can switch off anytime but when i need to switch on then i need to confirm it right and this will work on the other way as well like you can disable the pop confirm when uh, switch is not checked and you can uh, make it checked without the uh, confirmation pop-up right and on the pop confirm you can customize each and everything here you can customize this title uh, and also you can add the the description as well maybe we can say this is our description and in the title we can say alert right if i save it here you go it has added the the title and then the description right and we can change the text of these uh, buttons as well like uh, for the okay if you want to change it something else we can say the okay text is maybe you can say yes like we're saying are you sure change the switch state i say yes okay 
and even we can change this uh, the icon as well so we can say icon we can say the question circle field maybe and it's again from the end design icons as you go and you can implement this idea uh, to any type of uh, controls like here we have implemented on the switch you can add the same on the checkbox or something or maybe on the buttons or any any control uh, you can add this so here uh, instead of that we can say the checkbox again from the end design copy this one and paste it here and we can use the same state here and here you go if i i can disable it and i can enable only if i press the yes then it will enable it right because we are using the same state for uh, this checkbox and the switch that's why both are uh, making an on and off uh, simultaneously so that's it on exploring how we can add a confirmation message before we change the state of the switch or the checkboxes but still if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you